Pizza! <laughs> and that's what we're about to do right now. Bye, I bye. like what you see. Please give us a thumbs up. Yes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I can't wait to share with you the test of this pizza. Welcome to Boss His Money. I'm so excited today. We are in Verona and I'm talking to the owner of the franchise called uh, Ben Benuni. And he's here to tell us his journey on this business. And uh, I can't just wait for him to share. Hello. Hello, Charity. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm sure the people are excited to know what you've been up to because on this channel, I share the businesses that people are doing, how people are bossing, the gifts that God has given them. So we would like to know your journey. Sure. Yes, I'm excited to share my journey. Okay. Um, and I love the word you use, the gifts that God has given us. Mm -hmm. um, because my gift was passed on to me by my mom. Really? Honest, yes. My mom was a very, very talented uh, cook and chef. Mm -hmm. And um, since I was probably about eight years old, I began cooking and just all of our relationships and mm -hmm. experience were built in the kitchen. Right. Uh, my mom was very well known in the community for her cooking um, and because she did catering and, and people just always gathered at our house. So mm -hmm. that gift was passed on to me. Mm -hmm. um, I went to the military. I got, I went, they'd sent me to school for culinary arts mm -hmm. as well as some other things. But culinary arts was the one thing that I just always stuck with. Right. No matter where I went across the country, I always worked as a cook somewhere, as a chef. Um, I so even it's like the, the gift of cooking was always It was always it. there. <laughs> it was always there, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and so how I got Ben Benuti's, that is, I tell everybody, it's honestly, it is God. It's me being in the right position as a person mm -hmm. and somebody recognizing that I'm capable mm -hmm. and accountable as a, as a person. Capable and accountable. Those are very important qualities because it's not everybody that can run a business and be able to sustain it. So they saw a gift in you. And then what happened after that? This gentleman, his name was Raul. He's the owner of the entire company. And when I say the entire company, this is not a small company. This is a company that um, they make their own dough and sauce. They bought a recipe from Mr. Benvenuti, the original ben owner, mm -hmm. 75 years ago. Whoa. And this gentleman by the name of Raul bought the company. He mm -hmm. used to be the president of Hershey Company. Okay. Bought his own company. And what he did was he hired me originally as a food truck manager. Food truck manager, that's where he started from. Food truck manager, just a cook. You know, the Bible says, do not despise the days of small beginnings. He started as a food truck manager. Then what happened after that? Six months, it was about three to six months later, mm -hmm. he sent me a text. And it said, Garland, I'd like to talk with you. Uh -huh. I have an offer for you. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be about. Right. Uh, so he flew in, he met me at a brewery, mm -hmm. and he says, I want to offer you the business. Mm. Jerry, I'm here to tell you, I mean, it was like, and here's the hit. He was so, believe, he believed in me so much, and his character is one as well. He's a man of color mm -hmm. um, who said, We'll work out the money arrangements. I believe that you can take this business to the next level. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So how has the journey been like? And from what point or which year did you get the business? And how has this, the journey December been December like? 15th, or excuse me, December 5th, I officially became the owner of Benvenuti's Food Truck. Oh, wow. Okay. That's awesome. I'm awesome. the first franchise owner. <laughs> um, and this is over almost a half a million dollar business. Oh, 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 we'll continue inside. <laughs> so a lot of people would like to know the journey 
you know, they just see that you are succeeding in a business and they would want to know how has your journey been like from the time you started? Is there anything you would like to share with us? Yeah, um, what I can for me, the journey has, I've never had a moment since I've taken over mm -hmm. that I didn't or wasn't excited about getting up for work. Mm. That has been the biggest change and blessing that could ever happen, you know, because there's always been this thing like I, inside of me that I've always, I'm working, but it's not really my life. Mm. I have little control mm. for as much as um, I have a passion to be successful in everything I do, mm -hmm. I'm still making somebody else, they're getting all the rewards. Mm. I'm just putting in a nine to five. So anyway, um, starting this company, um, I've never had a moment where I didn't love getting up for work, regardless of knowing that I'm going to have some trials on a daily basis, right. whether it's mechanical, um, whether I didn't have a financially rewarding day that day, right. um, or I just had a customer who just ticked me off, mm. you know. Um, I, I know my faith, my belief that I'm going. Uh, God is going to help me as long as I stay in position. I'm going to use that word a lot. Yes. Um, because it was taught to me is by my parents, mm -hmm. by my friends, I've always told me, just stay in position. Yes. Um, that means, you know, be as, every day be the best person that you can be. Yes. I like the point that you mentioned that you are excited to go to work. A lot of people go to work and they're not even excited about going to work. So what makes it exciting for you? Everything I do is for me, mm. for my family. I mean, there are tangible reasons. Mm. Truly, I mean, they're right there in my face. My kids work for me. Mm. Wow. You know, um, if, if I don't make any money, it's because I, there was something that I could have done better right. or I didn't do, mm -hmm. you know? So everything is, everything's on my shoulders and I'm okay with that. Yes. That's the biggest, that's what I love the most is that. It's amazing that the children are working for you because a lot of people, they run a business, but the family is not even involved. But if you can have your children be a part of a business, that even makes it better because it becomes now like a generational kind of business. Exactly. Yes. Well, my children are even excited about, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the legacy. You know, yes. my, my, my son who works with me full time, mm -hmm. he always says, all right, dad, when, when am I getting my own truck? <laughs> you know, um, here's the kid who's, he wanted to be a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And when I started this business, he came to work for me. And in the back of his mind, he still wants to be a school teacher. Right. But I think it's fading now because he's finding the same enthusiasm as I have. Mm -hmm. He sees the results of his efforts. Yes. If I put in, I can see what's coming out mm. instead of, if I do a nine to five, and I'm not knocking nine to fives. Exactly, exactly. But there is, if I put in my 100% from nine to five, mm -hmm. the only thing that I'm going to see is that I have another job to go to tomorrow, and I get a pension at the end of the year. I love having work by my side. I love having all my children work by my side mm -hmm. because I get the chance to mentor not only in business, mm -hmm. but in, more in life as adults. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they see the glamour. When they first started, this is the funny thing. <laughs> they see the glamour of yes. being an owner of a food truck. Yes. But they couldn't, they didn't see that dad was staying up until mm -hmm. midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and then having to get up right. at six, early. seven every morning. That's early, live early, you are the owner of the business. You know, that's the part of the business, uh, owning a business that people sometimes do not see. You know, the long hours that you put in and all that. But at the end of the day, I guess it's very rewarding. Yeah, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. no matter what, you can see the tangible evidence mm -hmm. of your work. Yes. Um, whether it just be, I'm so tired. Yes. <laughs> I, I read I was I read a passage mm -hmm. 
And uh, it spoke about we need to be like ants. Mm. Ants do what they do mm -hmm. for the sake of not being recognized, but because they are responsible to do it. Oh, wow. That's deep. Integrity. That's deep. And, uh, I, I I want I want to live my life as like an ant. Mm. I want to be a hard worker, yes. a caretaker, mm -hmm. provider, mm -hmm. protector. Yes. And not because my neighbors are looking at me, mm -hmm. or the people in my church, mm -hmm. or you know we're on this interview, mm -hmm. and because that's what I'm. I want to show up as the best man I can on a daily basis. So if someone is in the Pittsburgh area, I don't know which areas you you work from. Uh, how can they get in touch with you and what type of food do you uh, serve? Um, you can, I have social media. Mm -hmm. My social media sites are Facebook, mm -hmm. Ben Benuti's Pizza Factory mm -hmm. on Facebook or Ben Benuti's Food Truck on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I also have Instagram, Ben Benuti's Pizza Factory. Mm -hmm. um, so once we go there, we can know where you are on which day and things like that? Yep, I have Mobile Nom. That mm -hmm. is a food social, that's a food site mm -hmm. that lets you know where I'm at, mm -hmm. what times I'm there. Um, and it'll let you know that for the entire month or week, every location that I'm, I'll be at. So if you want to test the best food in Pittsburgh, Ben Venudis is a place to be. <laughs> I guarantee it, we know dough. <laughs> so what type of food do you say? Um, I, I serve pizza, mm -hmm. strombolis, calzones. Um, I have seasonal specials. I've just in, in, uh, increased my menu to add some more flair, like Florentine pizza, mm. with fresh spinach and fresh garlic, margarita pizza, where I make my own margarita sauce mm. um, with fresh chopped Roma tomatoes. I'm not gonna tell you my secret seasonings, <laughs> But I guarantee it's become my second best seller. Which um, one is the best seller? I'd love to try the best seller. The chicken bacon ranch is the best seller. Mm. And then my margarita has become number two. Wow, we'll yeah. try that one. And what can you tell someone who is uh, trying to get into maybe business and they're thinking it's hard or how can I do this and that things is, like that? Oh my gosh, Charity, that is the greatest question you could ask me. I could say it's short and sweet. Um, have a healthy fear, mm. but do not oh. be afraid to chase your dreams. Ooh. That's number one. Two, know what you do know mm. and be humble enough to ask people you know who know mm. what you don't know mm. to help you. And you can't fail. That's so deep. A healthy fear and be humble enough to ask. A lot of times people don't do what they're supposed to do because they feel overwhelmed. They feel like uh, nobody can actually help them out because they are just scared to ask. Oh my, amen. Oh my God, you couldn't have said it better. I have goosebumps because at me, and I'm, I don't know if this is, but as a male, I am prideful. Mm. But I thank God that I have found the ability to humble myself. Like, I know math. I don't know accounting. So why am I gonna do my own accounting? Exactly, and I'm an accountant. Right? <laughs> you know, I'm setting myself up for failure. Yes. But I'm not, I'm afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spend the money. You're set, and I'm like, no, Garland, mm -hmm. don't make mistakes. Yes. You got one shot. You've seen, you've been given this opportunity to take advantage. So I pay the few dollars that it takes to pay an accountant. Yes. Who knows what I don't know. And your know. books are in order. And the IRS are all oh, <laughs> You can come in and look at my books, and I'm like, yeah, everything's in order. And oh, you look smart. Yes. Because you have the right people on your team. And that's, that's one of the most important things he has mentioned today. You need the right people on your team. You need people who can help you with the books. You need people who can navigate you all the way to what you need to do. You know, don't be afraid to ask. Yes, I have a person, her name is Dana. Mm -hmm. And me and Dana, we butt heads mm -hmm. so often. She's right. my marketing and a court and event coordinator. Mm -hmm. and she's darn good at what she does, but sometimes she thinks she's my boss. <laughs> But, and, and but I have to we, we get into these arguments but I need her because she knows what I don't know exactly so exactly. you know we butt heads and then we make up and 
she keeps she keeps on doing what she's doing and I do what I do, which is I know how to cook, I know how to motivate, mm -hmm. um, and I know how to have faith. Mm -hmm. And it's, I can't even tell you how much I've grown. I, I could show you the numbers, mm -hmm. but I've grown 26%. That's very big. 26%. That's very big. I'm an accountant myself by profession, and rarely do you hear someone growing by 26%. A lot of people grow by 2%, 5%, you know, and that's acceptable, but 26%, that's way too high. So we want to know why this 26% growth, see how many people are at the, at the truck. Yeah, right let's get out yeah, let's get out there. Let's see the let's people there. <laughs> Mastering making pizza. There's my go to guy. That's my son, Luke. Luke, kind of. Oh, yeah. You know what? They got everything nowadays. Yeah. Luke has been working with me since I started in December 5th. Yeah, try. We want to And he's probably going to be the person who takes over um, when I'm done. God willing, seven years, I'm done. I'm moving to an unknown address. <laughs> I don't want to hear from him no more. He's got grander thoughts of him and Stevie having a huge multiple franchise truck so and this, this is the kitchen right here yes this is the kitchen this is the workstation um the oven is in the middle um i can produce it used it says 30 pizzas an hour luke and i have refined it we can do 40 pizzas an hour we learn how to manipulate it to get to maximize its production i typically do about 16 to 20 cases of dough a week at average that's uh there's 48 pizzas in a case that's a lot um, i have contracts with upmc riverhound soccer team um oh my gosh oh allegheny county that was a huge um lift that was one of the things that i wanted to do when i took over the truck um this company was they had a wrong formula and it's okay they were they were building their business outside and mm -hmm. trying to bring it back in. Mm -hmm. And experiences showed me you build your business in your backyard, then you expand out. Just like in supply trains, chains, you know, you, 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 I can't have somebody out here and I'm trying to get them food way out there. I should build supplies in between. I took the same formula. It's not something I come up with. This is all stuff I read. And that has been huge in my success. So there you have it. This is the order. Then the I can't wait to test the pizza. <laughs> that's what we're about to do right now. And Bye, guys. If you like what you're seeing, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I can't wait to share with you the test of this pizza. Lovers. Your granddaughter, she requested that. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have... This is new to the menu. I created this. This is a Florentine pizza. Mm. It has a ricotta base, um, red sauce on top of that, fresh cheese, fresh spinach, fresh garlic, fresh
fresh cherry tomatoes chops. Oh my goodness. And this is my number one seller, Chicken Bacon Ranch. Oh, and that's the one I ordered. I can't wait to test it. Man, this, as I test, please take a video. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Look at the cheese. Look at the cheese. Oh my god, look at the cheese. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Oh. Oh. That looks good. That looks really look at, good. Look at that cheese. Ah, oh, it's just melting off. Ah. Oh. Oh. 